guys. Well, I'm up next. I know this has been long. Um, if you guys need a, a quick break, feel free to take a quick run. If you guys need a break, uh, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll dive right into it. Is everybody ready to keep going? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Awesome. Good. Okay. Uh, so my side, for those of you, let me tell you who needs to be here. Um, Andrea, I, I think we met last time when you were doing the walk, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if you're brand new to the office and you are in my mentorship program, meaning you are assigned to me, um, you're a brand new agent, you've never closed transactions, or you've closed less than six transactions, that means you are in the foundational coaching program. You are assigned to me for your next transactions until you've fully completed six. I will be your point of contact for everything. Uh, well, let me clarify what I mean by everything. Anything that's contract related, anything that's negotiation related, you will contact me, okay? We do have uh, obviously a managing broker. I am not your managing broker. I am your supervising uh, agent that is gonna be uh, supervising you throughout the whole process, helping you with all your questions and training you on a weekly basis, okay? Um, I will be your primary point of contact for basically everything. Um, if I can't answer the question, I know who to direct you to. So if it's a technology question, I'll direct you to Steven. If it's a compliance question, I'll direct you to um, uh, Ruth. Um, anything that you need help with, I've been here long enough to know where to get the resource. So. I will direct you throughout your whole process until we get you guys fully trained and comfortable. What we do know is that after six transactions, you will feel the most comfort and you will feel um, uh, good enough to be doing things on your own. So just know that for your first six deals, you'll have me as your primary point of contact and resource. We'll dive into um, what, what we're gonna be doing here and kind of what we're gonna be looking at. Uh, for those of you that are new to KW, uh, please be sure to send me a friend request on Facebook. Facebook is the primary resource that we utilize as, uh, as, as agents in our mentorship program. Um, in order for me to add you to our private Facebook group, I need to be friends with you on Facebook. So if you have not sent me a friend request, send me one. And I know Mario, you sent me one not too long ago and I think I've already accepted it if I'm not mistaken, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So Mario Ramirez, right? Yes. That's you right there? Yes. Okay, you're added. Um, Dale, are you and I friends on Facebook yet? Okay, so send me a Facebook request because I need to add you to this um, Facebook page. And okay. Are you and I on Facebook, um, are Facebook friends already? And are you on my program? I guess that's my second question. She might have stepped away for a second. So Dale, add, send me a friend request. I'll make sure to add you right now. Okay. Sometimes I get Facebook friend requests and I don't accept them because I don't know who they are. Dale, do you know if Joe Ann is on your team? She is. Okay, so I'm gonna confirm her, add her right now. Did I lose? System's writing a little slow, so bear with me one sec. So I'm adding Joanne now. I just sent you a friend request. Got it.
Gail, I just sent you a request to accept our invitation to the page. Mario, I just sent you a request to accept the invitation to our page. So you guys are now, um, should now have invites. Please accept those invitations and then we'll dive right into this, okay? Guys, there's three sections within this page that are extremely important. Actually, four sections within this page that are extremely important. First and foremost, our training videos. Um, all of our training videos are in Facebook. Um, I've created them via a Loom account, and it's always going to be pinned as the very first post that you see here under the announcement section on the news feed. On PCs, as it always shows up here, for some reason on Macs, it's not showing up here. So on the left-hand column, you can see announcements. If you click on announcements, you'll be able to find uh, this link here for all the training videos. Click on training videos, and there's quick, easy access to all of uh, voiceover training videos that I have recorded for all of the basics, okay? Um, what you learned with Ruth today of adding a contract into Facebook and creating a buyer's agency agreement and creating a contact, that's in here. Unfortunately, um, you do not see the title of, uh, of the uh, video unless you're looking on this bottom left-hand corner here. It'll tell you the title of the video. So sometimes you have to scroll through all of these to find what video you're looking for, but we have videos from um, simple videos from like how to create a CMA, um, how to pull comps and create a CMA. Again, it's a second video. It's a voiceover screen share that basically just tells you um, how to pull comps, what to do in MLS to be able to pull the videos and do a, a CMA, okay? So on your own time, come through here. I usually add videos to here uh, as frequently as I see necessary. Uh, we have videos on how to create disclosures, all of the disclosures you might need for a buyer or for a seller. They're all in here, how to fill them out, how to read them, et cetera. So as I see uh, a need, I'll create a video, post it under here. And again, remember this is under announcements, okay? Um, again, every time that we meet, uh, simple, uh, every time that you guys need something, I record all of my training sessions. I try to remember which ones I record so that when you need help on something, the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna direct you to watch the video. Once you watch the video, you will then fill out the contract to the best of your ability. After, upon filling out the contract, this is very important, never, ever, ever send your contract to the client until I have reviewed it until you've made the changes that I recommend. And once those changes have been completed, you can then send to your clients. So I will be the person that will be reviewing all of your contracts. Here are the documents that I need to review. Exclusive right to buys and exclusive right to sells. They all must be reviewed by me. Any contract to buy and sell must be reviewed by me. Any counters or amendments must be reviewed by me throughout the process, okay? Anything that pertains to negotiation, uh, post-occupancy agreements, uh, counters and amendments, those all must be reviewed by me. General disclosures, I don't need to review those because they're pretty self-explanatory. What's the square footage of the property? Seller's property disclosures. I don't know the property. I don't know the square footage of the, dis of, of the property, uh, closing instructions, et cetera. Those don't need to be reviewed by me. However, there are training videos on how to fill them out so that you know how to do that. So first, what you're gonna do is watch the video, fill it out to the best of your ability. Upon filling it out, you're gonna email it to me Upon emailing, very important, please, please, please make sure you follow your email with a text to me, letting me know what you're sending me, who you are, what you're sending me, and, and, and uh, for me to review it, okay? I don't check emails, like right now, I've been on this meeting for the last two hours, potentially three hours, so I don't check email frequently. 
And the only way I know to review your email immediately is if I receive a text from you letting me know that you've sent something to me. Questions on that? Everybody's good? Yeah. Okay. Um, so every time that we're in here, I will post everything. You'll get notifications going forward um, on th things that are happening. So for example, Today, we had a class. We have training classes every Wednesday. For the month of May, they're on Wednesdays, only one day a week as of right now. Normally, we have training classes two days a week. But because we are currently running Bold Pivot, and those are on Tuesdays and Thursdays, to not overwhelm you guys with a ton of training, my training classes are on Wednesdays. So on Wednesday, I will tell you what the topic, or on, on Tuesday or Wednesday, I will tell you what the topic of the class is gonna be first thing in the morning. You'll be notified via Facebook. And then I give you a link to go to sign into the Zoom so that you know what we cover. All of these classes are recorded, guys. I will post a copy of the recording after the class is finished so that you guys can always access our previously recorded classes. I also have, in here on the left hand side, I said there was three sections that you guys should know about. I told you announcements already is one of them. Videos are section number two that I want you to remember, okay? These are previously in-house recorded classes. Prior to COVID, we did all of our classes and trainings here oh. in our training room in our office. Anything that says one minute is probably just a quick announcement of what the class is gonna be or a quick announcement of what was happening during that time. But anything that's an hour, if not longer, is a true training session. If you wanna know what the training session is, you click on the, on the actual video, bottom left-hand corner or top right-hand corner, it'll tell you, Facebook leads in command and 66-day challenge. You can watch this video, it's an hour long of my class that I recorded on Facebook leads and the 66 day challenge. When you're doing a listing or a buyer consultation for your first time, let me know and I will tag you on the specific videos that you can watch. So that way you get full training and an understanding. I have a video in here called buyers A to Z, what to expect once I get a buyer and I go under contract and it gives you a step-by-step -step breakdown of what to expect um, with the buyer throughout the process. Listings A to Z, that's a two video course um, that I taught and it gives you what you're gonna need to know about getting a listing under contract and step-by-step -step from A to Z on what you need to know from day one all the way through to the closing, okay? So again, a ton of resources in here. Feel free to watch whatever you want or at least play with this, click on it, know what videos are in here so that you're familiar with what documents and videos uh, and training classes might be in here. We are a training company. That's the number one thing we do most and best. So uh, there's a ton of training uh, accessible in here for you guys um, that, that I think you'll find very helpful. The third thing that's very important in here is gonna be the files tab, okay? Under the files tab, you're gonna find a bunch of different resources that I have available for you. Last week, I uploaded a preferred vendor list of the vendors that I utilize um, for my uh, buyers, sellers, et cetera. So if you click on the resource itself, it'll bring up the document and you'll be able to see who my lenders are that I use, who's the inspectors that I use, who are the title reps that I use. And I'll be adding additional vendors in here as well, so that if you're brand new and you've never um, had a relationship with people, I, can, I give you two to three uh, reps for each, so that way you guys have uh, somebody to start utilizing and using. Again, you can find those in video, or excuse me, under the files, uh, uh, section here in this resource page. A to-do template, scripts, volumes one, two, and three, buyer scripts, seller scripts, lead generation scripts. If you're looking to do the 66-day challenge and you're having a hard time finding it, there's an Excel spreadsheet here that was created by one of our agents. You can click on this Excel spreadsheet, uh, download it if you want, 
Uh, upon downloading it, you can open it and it gives you live links to be able to watch the 66 day challenge. Mario, you were asking me about training. I think you said that you had this or you knew about it. If you click on enable editing, um, click yes there. And then now you can directly click on, you know, video number one right from here and it'll take you straight to YouTube so that you can watch the 66 day challenge live step by step. Okay. Again, we're trying to make it as easy for you as possible. So we've added all this stuff into the rising stars page so that you don't have to go to multiple sections to try to find these things. Okay. Um, Interest for Facebook ads. Once you want to learn about Facebook ads, you'll understand what this means. Documents required for a buyer room, documents required for a listing room. So if you're doing compliance, remember rooms are really files. So a buyer file, a listing file. If you want to know what docs are required, there is a quick, easy flyer here tells you what the new listing documents would be, the under contract documents and the closing documents. Feel free to print these out, put them in front of your desk so that you know what required documents um, you'll need for compliance, okay? Again, you can't break anything in here, guys. So clause manual, I talked about the clause manual that if you need some clauses uh, to put into your contract, these are all clauses that were written by our, our uh, attorney. You can find those in here as well. You can download and save them onto your computer. And then when you open the clause manual, you'll see pages and pages of clauses that have been written by our attorney for buyers, sellers, for sale by owners, et cetera, okay? Um, again, clause manual, um, and it tells you exclusive right to buy clauses, exclusive right to sell clauses, contract to buy and sell clauses, um, inspection clauses, you name it, there's a clause for everything in here. Okay, reference the section and the page and you'll be able to find the clause. And instead of you drawing up specific clauses, just know that there's clauses that are in here and available for you to use. Again, play with it so you get familiar with what clauses are out there that our attorney has written. There's clauses in here from escalation clauses, as is clauses to buy homes as is, um, appraisal guarantees, um, you know, CIC documents, um, um, due diligence document clauses, you name it, it's all in here, okay? Questions so far, guys, I know I'm going pretty quick. Awesome. Um, let me uh, bring up this packet really quick. Actually, the, the new, uh, a lot of the new documents from like attorneys, like the COVID ones, you guys just upload it right away on to the Facebook group. Is that an easier way to find things? Um, yes, most of those documents you're going to find in CTM or in uh, DocuSign when you're, if you just search for under the search field for the drop down of all the documents. So. You, you, you can look for those directly in CTM or in DocuSign, depending on where you're at, okay? okay. I've been meaning to download this, so I'm gonna do this while I have you guys now, um, because I wanna add this to this Facebook group. Okay, guys, the document that I'm just saving right now, you're going to see that it was, uh, it will post to the uh, Rising Stars page all on the feed on the main page. 
and now it's available here for you guys to be able to follow along with me. This is our introductory packet that I'm gonna give you that we're gonna go over right now so that you understand exactly where we're at and who, what, how we run this Foundation of Coaching program, okay? Remember that I'll be the mentor that's gonna be assigned to you for those six transactions. Once you've completed your six transactions, you graduate from my program. Uh, a little background about myself. I've been in the industry since 2007. Um, I'm in the top 20% of production for this office. I am still a realtor that is in production with a real estate team. It's myself, a buyer specialist, and an admin that currently work on my team. Um, I handle all of the listings. I do not show any buyers, and that's why I have time to be able to review your contracts and be the productivity coach and the mentor for the office. Last year, we produced about uh, just over $20 million worth of real estate sales between uh, the two of us licensed agents. So um, the reason I say that is not so much to impress you, but to let you know that you are having somebody that's training you that's still in the trenches and understands what the current market looks like right now. Okay. Um, we do have training every week. I will let you know what days and times trainings are. Unless something changes, just assume that training uh, sessions are the same time every single week or every single month. Like I mentioned right now, our current training sessions are running on Mondays, or excuse me, on Wednesdays at 9 a.m. So please be sure to put in your calendar for the month of May, we're gonna be doing trainings um, uh, Wednesdays at 9 a.m. I ask that you please attend all the trainings. Put me as an appointment in your calendar so that it sends you a reminder and so that you know to be in the training class because um, I, I'm, I'm not very uh, fond of somebody asking me, hey, Carlos, how do I um, negotiate an inspection objection? And I taught inspection objection class last Wednesday and you didn't attend. The first thing I'm going to do is say, were you in my class last week? And if you say no, I'm going to say, okay, well, there's this video that I showed you. I'll tag you on it and I'll have you watch the video. It's kind of tough love um, because I also run a team and I have to be uh, respectful of my own time as well. And I ask that you be respectful of my time as well and just be sure to attend my training sessions, which is only one hour to two hours per week, okay? Um, outside of uh, group coaching sessions or Zoom sessions, which is what we're doing now, I'm available. This is 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. It's really 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. After 7 p.m., what happens? If you have a contract and you're in the middle of a negotiation and it's due that night, please let me know via text message, hey, Carlos, I have to submit this offer tonight and I will get to it. What I usually tell you is set the right expectation for your client. Most sellers don't review offers and most listing agents are not reviewing offers after 7 p.m. They'll review it the following business day. So just let your client know, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, I know we just got finished showing you houses today and it's 7 p.m. I'm gonna work on your offer tonight and you'll have it first thing in the morning. Type up your offer that evening email it to me, send me a text. First thing in the morning when I wake up, I'll review your offer, I'll text you any changes that you need to do. Once you've completed the changes that I text you, at that point in time, you have the green light to send the offer to your client for signatures, okay? One-on-one um, -on -one meetings are available upon request. Just email me, I'll send you a link to my calendar. And once you've emailed me or text me, text is the best way to communicate with me. If you text me, okay, Carlos, I need a one-on-one, -on -one, I will then send you a link to my calendar so that you can plug yourself into my calendar at my first available appointment that's convenient for you guys. Uh, we do utilize the KW Downtown's Facebook group, the Rising Stars group, with I, which I just added you guys onto. Just make mental notes that that is going to be your primary resource um, to find out information or documents. And when you ask me questions, most likely I'm going to refer you to that page to ask for the or to find those resources. I do need to review all contracts, agreements, and any related documents that pertain to negotiation prior to you sending to your clients or prior to you sending to your uh, 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 co-op agents. 
We do have a broker supervisory hotline. If for any reason I am not um, available or you can't get a hold of me and you have an urgent matter, you can call the broker hotline. I will give you um, a copy or contact information here in the following pages. I do recommend guys that you download this document and this PDF and please be sure to uh, take each and every contact phone number that's in here along with the email address and add them to your phone. At some point in time or another, you're gonna need to talk to all of these people. So you finding their names and phone numbers later on is gonna be difficult. Put them in as KW downtown, um, put in their titles so that you know who everybody is and you remember that way when I say, contact Asia for this, you have them in your phone, you look up Asia and you know who to email, okay? So again, this is a PDF, you can print it, take all of these individuals' names, titles, emails, and phone numbers and add them to your phone for an emergency contact situation, okay? This is all of our staff, if you haven't met them, Britta Lifka is finance and operations, Asia is in charge of agent services, once you've graduated from my co uh, coaching program and my mentorship program, you then are assigned to Art Vasquez, who's director of growth. He helps our agents grow their business and he also helps the office grow as well. So he helps with recruiting. Supervisory brokers, we have Jason Peck and Brittany Heckenberg. As you saw from the announcement today at our team meeting, we've also added Jeff Womble, who will be updated here shortly. All of these agents, um, the best way to contact them is through the broker hotline. They round robin on the broker hotline on a daily basis, and this is the phone number to the broker hotline. Please be sure to add this broker hotline as a KW Downtown broker hotline. Add that number to your phone so that you, you can have that whenever an emergency arises. There's Ruth's compliance email and phone number, and there's Steve, uh, Steven's email and phone number as well, okay? Um, technology, training, that's our number one thing. When you're in a mentorship program, please be sure to know what to look for on the training. We give this to you in checklist format. You guys should print this document, have it with you at all times, and as you're completing these classes, these are the names of the classes that you will find in our calendar. Please be sure that you check off the class that you've been completing it so that we know that, or that you know that you're completing every class necessary so that you don't feel lost and not know what to do. Great resource and guide that we've created for you so that you know exactly what kind of training classes and what you should be attending in our market center. We talked about Ignite today. Again, this is the Ignite checklist for the Ignite classes that will be available. Ignite usually runs twice a year. We had it in the first quarter, and I think we'll have it probably in the third quarter of this year all over again. You can, as you saw in uh, Stephen's uh, video, you can access Ignite via uh, the KW Downtown page. Ignite 2.0 is recorded, and there's some live links that you can watch as well. If you're a brand new agent, which most, most of you will be, you probably registered for MLS. You, odds are you got a welcome email saying that you need to take the mandatory class that now must be completed with nine, within 90 days of you joining the MLS. All of you should have completed that class or at least registered for the class by now. In addition to that one class, I highly recommend that you sign up in the MLS for these four additional classes. They have additional trainings that you should be taking. I do not teach you how to use the MLS. If you're gonna ask me questions about the MLS, I'm gonna refer you to go to the MLS. Unfortunately, that's not what I teach, okay? And so that's why I recommend, pay attention to this, go to this link, Look for, um, it's, uh, it takes you directly to the registration page of all the different classes that are, that are available and make sure you sign up for these four additional classes so that you properly know how to use the MLS. In my coaching program, in my mentorship program, you're going to, our goal is to teach you the following, how to properly hold an open house, how to master the market, how to master your finances, 
how to impress a buyer, how to impress a seller, how to write a contract that will win in a competitive market, and how to create, create a CMA. By the time you're done with your six transactions, you should feel very confident with these items right here, okay? Um, in addition to those trainings, we have exclusive right to sell, exclusive right to buy and contract to buy and sell training. Those are all held here right now. We're doing them via Zoom. Our attorney has an approved um, uh, instructor named Will Story, who is in our office. He runs a team and he's the one that will be teaching these classes um, on uh, a monthly basis. Not all of them, but one of these classes, usually once a month, and you can find those on the training calendar, okay? Mm -hmm. Lastly, or second to the last thing, we have a 30, 60, 90 day plan. Again, it's given to you in checklist format so that you, as you complete something, you have a guide of what you've been completing for your onboarding process. This is a 30 day checklist of what you should be doing. Um, please be sure, I don't hold you accountable. I don't babysit you and make sure you're completing it. But if at some point in time you're feeling lost, make sure to reference this document so that you know, hey, what have I not done so that I can complete and make sure that I'm staying up to speed with my training. Scott Leroy, you probably signed up for it and already did that. You're currently completing your new agent orientation. The time block sessions with me, make sure you put them on your calendar. Typical time for Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9.30 to 11.30. That's probably what we'll go back to starting in June, okay? Um, make sure that you attend your MLS classes, et cetera. This is a checklist so that you know what you should be attending. There's your 30-day checklist, here's your 60-day checklist, and here's your 90-day checklist, okay? So make sure that you're following along, print this document out, have it available with you, keep it in your bag, whatever you utilize to do this. Dale, tomorrow we have a 135 business planning session. Um, we'll be doing this business plan tomorrow as a team with you guys. So hopefully you were made aware of that by Lori. This is a business plan, Mario. If you want to schedule a time to join and do this with us, uh, just let me know. I'll send you a link so that we can create a business plan to make sure we keep you on track and hold you accountable to the number or the income that you want to make. And then we give you a 411 action item sheet for tomorrow as well that we will want you guys to uh, um, utilize so that you know what to do on a, on a monthly and weekly basis to hold you accountable to your goal. Guys, any questions on anything other than that? That's all I got for you as of right now. I know this has been a long day and thank you for hanging in there with us. Thank so, you, Carlos. Yeah, thank you. Can you please uh, send me the link for that uh, goal thing for tomorrow? For the what? For the uh, goal check uh, for the goal checklist. Uh, that's a private session that I'm holding okay. tomorrow for a team, Mario. I'll ask Lori if she's okay if I have you sit in with it. I'm sure she'll be okay. If for any reason she's not, I'll send you a link for you and I to schedule one-on-one -on -one and we'll just do that together. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Okay. Hey, any Carla? other questions for me? Yes. It's Dale. I wish I had had you for my first transaction. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, all I can say is welcome. And I think <laughs> you'll find it very helpful to have me from this point going forward. I think so um, too. Just let me know if you have any questions. Uh, my contact information is on the first page at the very top, so you can save my contact, or second page. Uh, you can save my contact information, you'll find it right there. Um, feel free to text me, call me with any questions you have. And again, please, the one thing that you should do first and foremost, two things. Make sure you know how to use the MLS register for those classes. Make sure you add me to your um, contact information and make sure you add all of the rest of our staff into your phone as well, into your contact information, okay? We don't teach MLS classes here, so the last thing you want is to get that first fire and you're like, Carlos, I don't even know how to use the MLS, what do I do, right? Like, Dale, it sounds like you might have been there at some point in time or kind of uh, 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 can, can uh, agree with what I'm saying. Yes, yes, yes. So MLS, 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 make sure to use it. Guys, training, training, training. That's what you need to be doing right now. If you don't know what you should be doing, 
look at the calendar online and make sure that you're doing the training classes each and every month as many as you can because your first heel dale you've done uh, one or two how many have you done so far i've done four four okay so you've done four classes dale um i'm sure that you'll agree to this your uh, first class or your first deal really doesn't come together everything that you learn doesn't come together until you actually get that first deal under your belt and so you'll feel lost and it's very normal to feel lost on your first transaction that's why i'm here and you have me for support and just trust what i say and do as i say not as i do um, <laughs> and, and i promise you you'll get through your first transaction and um, you'll learn a ton once you get that first deal. My goal for you guys is to, especially the new agents that have zero transactions, is to get a transaction under your belt within the first uh, 60 to 90 days. That is my goal because the sooner I can get a contract under your belt, the longer and the more likely it is that you will be in this business longer term. The longer it takes, the more your motivation goes down, and usually that's when people start dropping out. So attend my classes, you'll find a lot of benefit and I promise you that it'll all come together. I've been in your shoes 14 years ago. Um, I know exactly what it feels like to be a new agent. And so I try to give you as much as resources as I can and know that I am a bo open book. If you need absolutely anything, don't hesitate to text me and ask. Guys, sometimes I might be short, sometimes I might be quick because I have a ton of stuff going on at all times. Uh, I also have a family. I have three little ones at home, uh, twins that are five and a four-year-old, and I have a, a daughter that's graduating from high school this week as well. So I have four total kids. So I'm busy at home and I'm busy at work. And so that's why text is extremely important that you text me and I'll get to you as quickly as I can in between, okay? Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. That's all I got for now. Do you guys have any questions for me prior to, uh, before I let you guys go? No, we're good. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Well, stay safe. Have a great day. And I will see you guys uh, hopefully both tomorrow. Uh, Mario, I'll let you know. And uh, Dale, I'll definitely see you tomorrow. And then please be sure to add me to your calendar 9 a.m. for the next couple of weeks on Wednesday. And then we'll uh, regroup, start June 1st. I'll post the announcement what days and times our sessions will be for the month of June. Okay, okay. Well, that's you. great. Thank you guys, have a great day and we will be talking to you guys soon. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye-bye.